don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. I'm here with some great news for you. History has been made by these two people. That is David Akam and Black Wing striker Florence Dawson. I'll tell you that history, that history later in the video. And also, Coach Kusiapia believes that Black Stars can win the AFCON 2019. He believes the pedigree of players he has are enough for him to win the AFCON 2019. And also, Ash Gold and Asante Kotoko are bragging before the clash on Sunday. And Heart of Folk are not worried. They say they are not in competition with Asante Kotoko. As usual, I'm your host, Elas Ifiawei, and welcome back to Sahara Football. If you're new to the channel, I advise to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to get more updates. My second channel, Sahara Football Beta, is the first comment pinned here in this video. So let me just get right into it, and I'm going to start with the Black Stars. Now, the Black Stars coach, Chrissy Apia, is convinced that he has the credentials to win the AFCON 2019. He believes he has the squad to win the AFCON 2019. Remember, Ghana hasn't won the AFCON 2019 for over 34 years, well, 34 years now, I think. And it's been it's been long, over 34 years. It's a long time. And Coach Kusiapia says he has the team and the players and the experience as a coach to help the Black Stars win the AFCON 2019. Let me read the story to you. He said it has been 35 years since Ghana won the Nations Cup and there is increasing pressure on the current generation to bury that hoodie. Apia was in charge in 2013 finals in South Africa where the team finished fourth, losing to Mali in the third place playoff. But on three occasions, the Black Stars were losing finalists at the tournament, 92, 2010 and 2015. This is what he said. Yes, I think we have the quality players to win the tournament, but it does not come out of the blue that once you have good team, you should win a tournament. I must comment. I must commend Press Akufuado for starting this project now to help the team win the tournament. If all stakeholders play their role very well, it is when the nation can challenge the technical team to win the trophy. It is important to go to the tournament with a vision and a mindset to clinch the ultimate. So that's Coach Kusi Apia there speaking on the possibilities of Ghana winning the AFCON 2019. I really want the Black Stars to win this tournament. It's, it will be really great for us. I don't know how far we can go in this tournament. We have good players and we hope that we can go further in this tournament than in previous years. Now, to same to coach Kwesi up here again and he has been speaking ahead of the match between Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold. Now, Asante Kotoko will face Ashanti Gold in Kumase at the Baba Era Sports Stadium is a John Ajikun for Foundation Capital. We're hoping to raise 80 million Ghana cities for his foundation to help the needy in society. Now, Kwesi Abiao is saying that as Kotoko are preparing to face Cotton Sport in the playoff round that will determine the team that goes to the group stages, he feels Ash Gold will provide a good test for Kotoko ahead of that. Remember, it's only a one legged game, the winner takes away a trophy, and the proceeds from that match will go to charity and the John Ajiko before foundation to help charity that is so Kusia Pia says Black Stars coach head coach Kusia Pia has described John Ajiko before cap between Ashanti Gold and Kotoko as a good test for the Porcupine Warriors as they prepare for their final eliminator against Cotton Sport in the African Cup Confederations Cup. The Ashanti Gold rivals will clash in a special contest at the Babayara Sports Stadium on Sunday to mark the 80th anniversary Ghana's former president John Ajiko Gufua. Coach Apia, an ambassador of the John Ajiko Gufua Cup, believes that Shanti Gold will offer Kotoko a good opposition needed in the CAF in this cup, which comes off in two weeks' time. He said it is this is a good test for Corby Akumasi and Santi Kotoko as they prepare towards the Cotton Sports game. Had it been against the lower side, it would have been very different different game. All together, Ash Gold will give Kotoko a good game on Sunday to Angel Affair. When asked whether Kotoko coach Kwabla Akono should parade his top squad for Sunday's encounter, I said parading your stars for the game is a decision for the coach. As Kotoko will have another week before the Cotton Sports game, so I believe both sides will parade their best squad to entertain the fans. I pray for an injury free game for both sides. Prime Marvel Media, the organizer of the match, says the proceeds of the charity will go to John Ajikonfu before foundation to fund its development and leadership 
project. So we see up here they are speaking about the game between Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold on Sunday. As I said, this this channel will bring you the very best the highlights from that game and you can be sure to watch it here now. In light of that game, that Ash Gold players as usual are bragging ahead of the game. Of course, it's expected, it's a clash, and people are bragging ahead of the game. And Ashanti Go SC forward Shafiu Mumuni has entered his outfit readiness to battle original rivals Kotoko. When both clubs clash at the Babayara Sports Stadium on Sunday, the Porcupine Warriors and Ashanti Go SC will revive their interest in local football on Sunday, January 6th. As a clash in the maiden join a Jigong Kupua Cup at the Babayara Sports Stadium, the skillful striker, however, is optimistic. His outfits are in good shape ahead of the game with the Reds on Sunday and will clinch a trophy at the expense of the Kumasi Base Club. This is what he said. We are Shanti Gold are training very well for the game against Kotoko on Sunday. We, the players, are very ready for the game on Sunday and we are going all out to win the trophy. Mumuni also expressed his desire to don the colors of Kotoko should the Reds come approaching. So that's the striker for Ashanti Gold there. He's fired up, guns blazing, ready to face Asante Kotoko on Sunday. It's going to be an interesting game. I'm looking forward to it myself. Now, Agra had to focus. It's been a while we heard from Agra had to focus, but Agra had to focus person of Pariado. He's a communication director. He has said that he is not in competition with Asante Kotoko. You can so many stories concerning Kotoko popping up, people wondering what's up with Accra Hatsufu, what's happening to them, and so much they are wondering what, what is Accra Hatsufu doing. And Aparado has come out to say they are not in competition, it's not a competition with anyone, they are only competing with themselves. This is what he said. Communications officer of Accra Hatsufu, Kwame Aparado, has responded to reports in the media that his outfits have acquired an ultra modern bus. According to him, such accessions on the media are all rumors, adding that the clubs is in no competition with Accra rivals or Santa Cotto. So that Basque story, you might have heard it or might not have heard it. He's saying here that it is false. It's false exclusive from here. Ghana's current sole representative in the Cup of Gracious Cup Cotto acquired a new bus for the play body last year. Following the acquisition, fans of Swan rivals has to send direct in indications of, to their leadership that their club will need a similar deal by spreading a well-branded bus in their colors. The Hearts of Folk management member explained that the moves are social media gimmicks that the club will acquire quality bus soon and not because Kotoko have done so. According to him, it is the plans of the club's management to get a new bus and it will be soon. This is what he said. We know all fans and people who love how to food wish for us to get a new bus and we will get one. However, our decision to buy a bus does will not be because of our arch rivals having a new one. We are not in any form of competition with Asante Kotoko. Touching on the other issue relating to the club, he stressed that the observation of staff performance is ongoing and the club has no legal tussle with Karela FC over their latest player. So far as their books show them, meanwhile, the playing body of Heart of Folk returned to full skill training Wednesday after taking an early break on December 21st. So, that's latest from Accra Heart of Folk. They are now in competition with Asante Kotoko. Now, to my final story, and it's about Ghanaian wedding couple, the latest couple in town, the latest football family in town. They have made history. They have become the first Ghanaian football couple. Both, uh, both husband and wife are footballers. That's David Akam and Florence. That's uh, David Akam and Florence. That's uh, tied the knot on Thursday um, at, in a private ceremony in Cape Coast. It was strictly by invitation affair. You can see the pictures here on your screen. It was a lovely, lovely occasion. And I'm really happy for them. It's a great, super, super union. And we wish them a blissful union and moving forward from here. Let me read the news to you and we will wrap up for today. It says, History has been made in Ghana football. Has stars forward David Akam dumps the bachelor to marry Black Queen striker Floris Dadson in a traditional wedding ceremony on Thursday morning. Now, Akam, who plies his trade in the US, became the first Ghanaian footballer to marry his fellow female professional after tying the knot with a longtime girlfriend in Cape Coast. 
a ceremony which was strictly held by invitation saw families and friends of the two footballers gracing the occasion. Dadson, who plays for Gulf State Texas in the United States, has presented Ghana at every level as a female international. And on that happy note, I wish these two a happy, happy union and we hope that their marriage is blissful and sweet. See you guys in the next one. Enjoy your weekend.